And uh, Lubanova, uh, the part of the report is coefficient in those problems for the filtration equation, please. Thank you. First of all, I would like to uh, to thank uh, uh, to thank uh, the organizers of this conference for invitation and possibility to give a report. I would like to talk about one new uh, class of problems in those problems uh, for so-called pseudoparabolic equations and uh, the stationary problems uh, associated with this equation. Так. Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh, and I make only one new or only one remark concerning the denotations for the sake of convenience. Uh, I use the notation um, for the nodes and the duality uh, between the uh, duality relation between W zero one to omega and W minus to over mega, negative space uh, with uh, sub index G, one or two. And the norm without indexes is the norm uh, in the space L2 over mega. The new class problems, it is the inverse problem for the so-called pseudo-parabolic equation, the equation of third order, where M is the second order linear operator, usually uh, operator uh, of elliptic type, uh, uh, with the um, various uh, boundary conditions and initial data, uh, initial data number two, uh, initial conditions, uh, the uh, equality uh, three, and the condition of our determination four. Uh, this condition may seem some suspicious and unusual, but uh, I would, um, I must say that uh, this condition is uh, good. From the physical viewpoint, for example, for the problems of filtrations, filtration, uh, oil filtration, water filtration, in the fissure rock. Uh, uh, in this case, M is uh, minus Laplacian. This equation was uh, proposed by Brian Blatt, Jotel, uh, and Kochina in 60s. 1960 or 1963, I'm sorry, I don't remember exactly. Uh, linear equation for the filtration of oil. The problem is that uh, the fissure top uh, consists of blocks, porous blocks and fissures. Fissure is space, empty space between these blocks. Uh, the most of uh, rocks has a similar structure. The uh, full justification of such a problem and such kind of condition uh, can be found in the paper uh, pointed at the bottom of the slide. Uh, 
the main problem, the main difficulty concern, concerns with the uh, condition of our determination. Usually, uh, the inverse problems are considered under the uh, additional information, uh, which is described by the condition, for, for example, integral condition, integral with respect to full domain omega, or uh, some conditions, the trace or solution, for example, uh, the final moment of time, or on some manifold uh, uh, in special variables. But as for the problems of filtration, this condition, it appears this condition are not uh, physical because actually here omega uh, in such condition omega must be the uh, full empty spaces in the block of rock not visual volume but volume of, of uh, empty space uh, and we don't uh, as a rule we don't know this volume we don't know this uh, area because uh, the uh, well, well, <clears throat> well, uh, take place very deeply in the rock and uh, the configuration of fissures and porous block can be changed in the time. Therefore, uh, the inverse pro such inverse problems are very actual. For example, uh, if K of T, uh, K of T uh, characterizes the hydraulic properties of porous medium, uh, J uh, describes the absorption, this is absorption coefficient. It is the most difficult coefficient under the derivative with respect to T. Uh, uh, this coefficient corresponds to the intensity of uh, exchange between porous blocks and fissures. Excuse me. Uh, and uh, the uh, main uh, difficulty concerns with the. Anna, uh, pardon. Uh, what is phi one and phi two? Uh, are they known or? No, no. Uh, the functions are known. No. Okay. Known. Thank you. No, uh, phi one is the information. Which is uh, which is uh, which taken from the from uh, was, sorry I forgot the word. Uh, this is known function that phi one uh, gives the information on the flow of all three two. Actually, uh, uh, it appeared in filtration. This is the most uh, usual information which uh, which we can get. Uh, I considered uh, I considered the uh, problems uh, in those problems with unknown coefficients k separately, uh, j of uh, as the function of t and the coefficient eta of t. Uh, unlike other in those problems, uh, we we cannot. Uh, use here the usual techniques for in those problems. For example, uh, to uh, attract the operator B4, for example, with the uh, equation one, if we have the condition on the uh, domain omega, it is possible. In this case, it, uh, this is impossible because uh, uh, the condition is uh, given on the boundaries of the mega where the equation is not valid. Uh, I considered a few uh, problems uh, with the operator M of such kind, always. The operator is uh, self adjoint, uh, and this um, requirement is not necessary. Uh, all results remain true. Uh, remain true for the more common operators, not, not exactly self-adjoint, 
but further join uh, um, uh, make it easy to prove technically to prove all the theorems. This is not principal condition. Uh, the US problems considered for the Dirichlet boundary conditions, uh, main requirement for the boundary data and the condition of our determination is the condition of our determination must be uh, independent of boundary data. Th this means that uh, condition of our determination cannot uh, follow from the boundary data. Our, otherwise, we don't have any new information, any additional information. Uh, uh, if we consider the problem with the okay, boundary data, in this case, the uh, operator under the integral with respect to the boundary data uh, must be the derivative, conormal uh, derivative, the information conormal derivative. Uh, I consider the it is considered the problem when uh, the unknown coefficient is k uh, of t g of t in the, in such equations uh, this publication and uh, eta of t uh, under the derivative with respect to t and. Uh, the stationary problem, uh, the, the problems for uh, pseudo parabolic equations uh, concerns uh, with these uh, corresponding uh, stationary problems, uh, which is uh, the result of the uh, problem one when the problem for pseudo parabolic equations, uh, when the process uh, stabilizes. ST tends to last infinity. If, if the pseudo equation U doesn't depend on T, we have such, actually, such equations. Uh, the problem is similar with uh, boundary data and the integral uh, condition or, or determination of the boundary. Uh, this problem was considered and uh, studied uh, in the case when the, uh, when the coefficient uh, k1 or k2 is unknown and constant, constant coefficient. Here I would like briefly, uh, I would like uh, to tell just briefly about new results for uh, the problem with the other kinds of uh, boundary conditions. Uh, problem one is for problem for pseudo parabolic equations with the boundary condition of third order. In this case, the condition of all determination eight must take uh, such form. No any uh, economic derivatives, of course. Uh, and the result is the existence and uniqueness theorems for this problem, the sufficient conditions of su existence and uniqueness. All the results for English problems are usually uh, local results, but the result is global with respect to T. This is very important because unknown coefficient depends only on T. Uh, we consider the operator M of such kind. This is just a uh, uh, notation which will be uh, uh, convenient. Uh, it is supposed that the operator M is elliptic operator and so uh, elliptic self joint operator. And the coefficient of the uh, operator M, 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 I, G uh, are bounded with the uh, force derivatives with respect to X, L. And uh, it is assumed that the coefficient M in the 
uh, lower term is non-negative. Uh, the main idea of the proof is uh, right, an extension of omega of Tx. This is the fun given function uh, under the integral, the conditional forward determination. Uh, weight function for key, uh, actually. Uh, extension of this data into domain. The condition uh, of our determination on the boundary is very convenient in some sense. Uh, we can extend the, this data, the, this information, uh, into domain omega in such a way which is convenient for us, which uh, give us the uh, possibility to, which allows to give the estimates for the unknown coefficient. This is the most difficult part. Uh, when we get, uh, if we get the uh, estimate low and uh, with low and uh, upper bound uh, for the unknown coefficient, uh, other part of uh, the proof is quite technical. I'll see just later. Uh, by, by the solution of problem, uh, we mean that u is for, from this class and k is uh, continuous function only uh, segment zero t capital and the pair u k must obtain the equation five almost everywhere in the cylinder who sub t capital and the condition six seven eight all conditions for the problem uh, this means that uh, we look for the strong solution, strong generalized, generalized solution. Uh, the main result for this problem is this uh, theorem of existence and uniqueness, uh, which gives the uh, sufficient condition, conditions of uniqueness, uh, existence and uniqueness. Uh, global in sense of T. Global in sense of T. Uh, and uh, the uh, the pro under such conditions, the problem work is a solution UK, and the solution is unique. Moreover, the solution uh, U, solution U is non-negative, uh, also way uh, QT, and uh, the estimates holds with pos uh, the corresponding positive constants. Briefly. Uh, the idea, just the idea of the proof, uh, we extend the boundary data uh, into omega and the uh, data, data of conditional forward determination. Uh, is the solutions of the, the corresponding elliptic problems, which uh, was uh, presented at the slide, uh, two slides before. The next step, uh, reducing problem one to operator equation or second or the second type, where a y is such uh, relation, and u y is a solution of the direct problem five seven with uh, k of t equal to y of t. This means just a minute. We substitute y of t to the equation five, solve the direct problem five, six, seven, and uh, the solution of this direct problem so, <clears throat> and substitute the solution uy to the formula 12. Uh, Next, uh, the, uh, the comparison theorem for pseudo parabolic equation. The uh, meaning of this operator uh, is senseless uh, when y is non negative function, uh, thanks to com uh, comparison theorem for pseudo parabolic equation. 
And then the principle of uh, uh, contracting nippings. Similar result was obtained for the problem to uh, the associated stationary problem. Uh, ID is absolutely the same. This is the theorem. Conditions are very similar. Uh, the, the result for stationary problem was uh, published in the Journal of Siberian Federal University. This is the result of my pupil, Lilisevich. Well, remark I said about this remark. And this is all I would like to thank for this. Thank you. Uh, um, is there, but uh, maybe one short question. If, uh, uh, May I ask one question? Yes, of course, please. Thank you. Uh, uh, does this hold for both linear and non-linear equations of the type that you described? So the filtration equations of uh -huh. Because usually also nonlinear equations are naturally studied. Uh, filtration equations uh, describes not only the filtration of oil or water. Uh, this equation has a lot of applications. Uh, for example, heat transfer in special cases. Uh, some, problem, some problems of mechanics. <clears throat> so, oh. yes, some problems of a lot. I can do <laughs> briefly uh, remember. Ah, the problems of uh, the distribution, uh, the problems co uh, connected with the uh, semiconductors. The uh, distribution of uh, electric uh, and okay. magnetic fields in the semiconductors. Mm -hmm. So, in principle, this uh, is, I mean, can be also be yeah. in the 20 type here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thanks, speaker, once more. And uh, we'll